Hey there, gorgeous. Welcome to day three of Style School, where I'm going to be giving you some examples of some monochromatic looks. If you are familiar with my PR company, LV Public Relations, then you know that I offer a course called Finding Your Style Voice. And in that course, I teach you a little bit about color, enough so that you can put together your own colorful looks. If you have taken that course, yay, thank you, and I hope you got all that you needed to get out of it. If you haven't and you're interested, I will leave a link down below in the description box. But that course is going to teach you everything you need to know in order to find your own personal style. This, though, is going to be an example of some different monochromatic looks that you can put together quick and dirty version is that monochromatic colors are different shades of one color. I'm gonna give you four different looks, four of my favorite monochromatic looks from my closet, and I hope that that helps to further explain what monochromatic colors are. So the T is that some of these pieces are really old, some of these I've had for a really long time, some I can remember I got them from, some I cannot. But whatever I can remember, I will put down below in the description box so you have as much information as you need. So let's jump right in. This is monochromatic look number one. It is my monochromatic brown look. Most of these pieces I got from Ivy Park. The bodysuit is from Ivy Park and so are the latex pants. The boots I actually got from Nordstrom and they are Cole Haan. The belt was a gift to me, but it was bought thrift and it's about $20. It is Michael Kors. The earrings I got when I went to a wine festival from a black entrepreneur. And the purse, I don't quite remember. <laughs> but both necklaces I got from the black hair experience. I do believe that your belt should always match your shoes, so that's what I did here. And I love how the dark brown breaks up the caramel brown color. The gold just serves as a nice accent color here. Look number two is monochromatic blue, which I did with denim. I got the bodysuit and the pants from Ivy Park. The crop denim jacket, I'm not sure I've had it for a really long time, but the hat came from Ivy Park as well. This white bag came from Topshop at Nordstrom many years ago. I've had it for a long time, but I love this bag. These shoes I actually got from Nordstrom as well, and they are Fila. The necklaces I picked up from Forever 21. Look number three is monochromatic gray and I used a lot of metallic and silver for this look. I got these shoes a while back from Steve Madden. 
love these shoes. I believe this dress I actually picked up from Nordstrom Rack, I want to say. The hoops I got from TJ Maxx. This blazer was a beautiful top shop buy. The bag was a birthday gift and it is 9 West. Thanks mom. Sometimes you just have to kiss yourself, especially in a look like look number four. This is one of my faves. I actually wore this dress to meet Jake Gyllenhaal. This is my monochromatic green look. I wish I could say I remember where I got this dress, but I do not. I want to say my best guess is a Nordstrom Rack or possibly a TJ Maxx, but I'm leaning toward Nordstrom Rack. The bag I got from Topshop for sure at Nordstrom. This choker is an oldie but goodie. Probably came for Forever 21 or something like that. The earrings I don't remember and this is my good old Versace watch. And these shoes I got from I don't know. this video a thumbs up if you liked all four of my monochromatic looks go ahead and comment down below and let me know which look is your favorite on day four of style school I'm actually going to be showing you examples of complementary colors so make sure that you are subscribed so as soon as that video drops you'll be one of the first to know if you are looking for a better way to organize your wardrobe and you want something that is digital and you want something where you can create looks and also know what you have in your closet all in one place, I do have a wardrobe planner available on Etsy and I will put the link down below in the description box. So thank you for being a subscriber. If you would like a discount on that wardrobe planner, I'm going to put the link down below with the link to the planner. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I enjoy and appreciate your presence and make sure that you are subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.